everybody, welcome. It's Dwayne Marino. Uh, welcome to today's Autoversity and uh, just walking downtown Calgary here uh, on a long weekend here in Canada. Uh, if you like these tips, then subscribe, share, like, or comment. And just thought I'd drop a quick, um, a quick little message. So today I got a little bit bored. I'm uh, stuck here over the weekend because I got to travel to Edmonton on Monday. So I dropped into a client's dealership, Woodridge Ford, and was looking to maybe take some overflow traffic or help the sales desk or take some sales calls and uh, took one customer and closed them, but this isn't um, a braggadocious video. I just want to talk about something I talk about in training, which really uh, you know, comes to life because my training mirrors reality because I still sell cars every place I go. Uh, people today are doing obviously a lot of online research and when they come in, the internet has really set it up for us. Um, um, people like to wave, I guess, when I'm recording. I don't know what that's all about. Anyways, uh, really the internet and their smartphones have set it up for us. So we have to know that most people have done some online research. And I love doing analogies, and the funnier, dumber analogy, and the more, um, I guess, realistic or practical one is the most memorable, so let me give you one here. Those of you out there that are into online dating, you know, you, you see people on websites, you start to text, you start to call, you meet at a coffee shop. If everything is as expected, uh, based on what they've seen online, or talk to you on the phone, or whatever else, when they meet you at Starbucks, I guess you're gonna be, you know, probably proceeding through the sale, whatever that means, and doing okay. If you look a little different, or act a lot differently than what you represented yourself um, online, it's over. This doesn't mean you've got to be, uh, you know, rock star gorgeous or a hilarious person or whatever else, because they know what they're into when they meet at the coffee shop. Because that's what they saw online. That's what they sort of represented themselves as. So uh, as long as you're honestly and fairly representing yourself, then I think you're probably going to be okay. So what happened today was the customer comes in off of information they saw online and you know the car was sold. So I moved them to another vehicle and you know we pulled up our smartphones on the lot to check out the price of the vehicle and get the history on the car. And uh, I like to close in what I call uh, negotiation through information. So I grabbed the Viato reports, which is all the vehicle price listings that you have. Uh, historically, we rank those, work out some averages. I grabbed the deal folder, pull that out, get very transparent, put the information in front of the client and uh, also have the used car website up. And as long as everything matches at that point, you're in a really great position to justify what's going on. If there's something mismatching, you know, we're not trusted in our business, so they smell a rat. And it's not that human error, you know, is ever allowed in what we do because we can't do human error, right? We're always looking to screw somebody over. So I guess my message here is don't shy away from information, pull it out and use information in negotiations or documentation in negotiations but uh, you have to realize that for good or for bad, the information that you're sharing with that customer better match what's happening on the internet. So I advise you to use your smartphones during the sales process so you can clear up any kind of uh, discrepancies or whatever else we know in the lot or in the showroom, but uh, make sure there's nothing mismatching what they're seeing online, on their phones, on your phone, in the paperwork, in the documentation, and uh, set things up from there. So let's stop the bullshit and the running around and you know so-called you know uh, uh, playing games or Mickey Mousing or whatever you want to uh, call it in your marketplace. And um, you know transparency really to me uh, that's that's an old term. Well, we're well beyond transparency. You, you can't uh, you can't have something different than what they're expecting when they walk in. I'm Dwayne Marino. Take care. Great selling. I'm going for dinner. We'll talk to you soon.